Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to increase and decrease sound volume level using only mouse wheel in Windows. So, without further more delay, let's begin. So, firstly, let me show you. Say, when I move to my Windows Tux Bar, and you can see your uh, volume icon, right? When I click on it, then after that, I can just scroll it to increase and decrease, right? but directly I can't increase or decrease using the mouse volume unless and until I go to the volume level so for this what you need can do you can use some application which will allow you to directly increase and decrease the volume or the sound level just by scrolling anywhere in your Windows computer so for this just open a web browser and in the Google search, just first for one application name is TB Ball Scroll. As you can see, I'm mentioning again TB Ball Scroll. Just search this application name. On the first list, you will see its developer website. Just click on it. Now, you can see on the right side, retain releases, right? So you can see the version. Just click on it. Now, here you can see on the first list, dot .exe. So you need to download this file, just click on it and start downloading for a few seconds. So the file has been downloaded. So let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close the web browser. So it's a very tiny file. So you don't need to install it just by double left clicking it. You can just run it. So you can see a blue icon appear on the bottom of the Windows Tax Bar, right? So now just bring your mouse cursor to the taskbar and now you can use your mouse wheel to increase or decrease. So let me show you. So you can see the volume level have increased and decreased. So if you want to configure it then you can use this point your mouse cursor to the respective icon that is the TV scroll application icon and just right click on it now you can see your more and you can see your configure just click on configure now under the configuration settings of this application you will see a normal volume scroll step so when you scroll it will directly increase with 5% that is if you scroll one by one then it will increase directly with five times that is from zero to five so if you want to decrease it that means you want to increase or decrease just by one portion then just type here one so that you can increase from zero to one but if you want to increase it directly from zero to ten then just put here value ten and if you want to increase directly from zero to five then just put a value five so i just want to increase from zero to one that is serially zero one two three then i will be putting here the value one so after putting a value just hit enter then uh, you will see here apply option just click on it now let's check whether it's working or not so let us close this configuration settings and let us try to increase and we'll check the settings has been set or not so you can see it's increasing and decreasing by one person so we have configured it finally and if you want to make it run all the time during when you log in or boot up your windows computer then you can do one tricks just hit win plus r on your computer keyboard and on the run box just type one common cell colon start Just type this command and hit enter on your computer keyboard. Now you can see your startup folder. So just move back to the folder where you have downloaded that applications. And now what you can do, you can just drag and drop here. So when you add it to the startup folder, whenever you log in your Windows computer, then it will directly start automatically. 
so in this way you can make it start all the time when you log in or boot up your windows computer so using this applications you can directly increase and decrease sound volume level using only mouse wheel in windows very easily so if you never known about this cool application then definitely check it out and if you find this video information useful click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching